I just love getting new parts in the mail. This came today. Let's open it up and see what we got. This makes me feel like a kid on Christmas morning. Here we go. Ooh, new piston kit. Head and base gasket. Yeah, that's fun. Let's open it up and see what we got in our piston kit. New set of rings. White scope piston in a bag. Let's check this baby out. Ooh, clips. That's pretty. We like that. The new piston pin. And of course, the racing stickers. That's a real nice kit. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to check your running clearance without any fancy tools because most of you guys don't have them because they're expensive. So what you'll need is a feeler gauge that has one and a half thousandths, two, two and a half, and three. In the instructions it says to look on the box to see the running clearance that this piston requires. My clearance is two thousandths. So here's my cylinder and it's been honed out. If you've ever measured a piston, like even with some calipers, you'll find out that they're tapered. And the widest spot is usually at the end of the skirts. There's almost 10 thousandths taper, so I want to measure where the skirt comes up to the cylinder wall. To check the clearance on the piston running in the cylinder, I got it marked which way is the front. And there's an arrow on the piston to show where the front is. So I'm going to set it in there. And I'm going to measure the biggest diameter of the piston. Required clearance is two thousandths, so there's my two thousandths feeler gauge, and I'm going to slide that in there. But as you can see, it's two thousandths. So then I'm going to take the next size, which is two and a half. Let's see if it's too big, and the two and a half doesn't fit. So I know my running clearance down here is good. Then I'm going to flip the cylinder over and check the other side. I'm going to do the same thing. Put the piston in upside down, slide my feeler gauge in. Yep, I got two thousandths. And the two and a half doesn't really fit. It's kind of tight, almost goes in. So I know I got at least two thousandths running clearance on the cylinder. Here's my old piston that I pulled out of this pipe. But before I put the new piston in, I want to measure from here to here to make sure that my piston doesn't hit the top of my head. And I have about 615 inches. Do the same thing here, and I have 610. So I know that, that the height of this is good and it won't interfere when I run the bike. And that's how you fit the piston into the bore, and those are the measurements you should check. In my next video, you'll see some other measurements that I take and check before I assemble the bike for the rings. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.